Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We got a question here from Mangesh. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, recommendation for next camera. That is the heading of the email. Uh, Mangesh says, hello, I really enjoy your videos and the quality of knowledge you're providing to others. I purchased a G7 in November and starting to get involved in short films. I picked up a lot of equipment, more than my wife would like. Smiley face, don't we all? Uh, I was researching on what my next camera should be that won't break the bank. Eventually, I want to make the G7 as my backup camera or second angle, etc. What would you recommend? I also do some photography, but the filming is the priority. Thanks, uh, for, your, uh, thanks for any help you can provide. Regards, Mangesh. Well, thanks for your question, Mangesh. Um, my immediate thought is I'm shooting this with the G85, which is the successor to the G7. Fantastic camera, has some advantages, and um, a little bit more expensive. We've got the in-body stabilization. Uh, we've just got a newer camera and basically the update to the G7. That would be an immediate thought on what could be your new main gun at a fairly reasonable price. Put the G7 as your backup. If you want to step up even more than that, I would suggest it depends on your budget. Perhaps a used or refurbed GH4, great camera, stepping up into more pro options, more uh, functions and abilities built into that camera, um, more video abilities, more than I need for the way I shoot. But if you're really getting into video, you know, that's more of a pro camera. A lot of, a lot of pro videographers work with some GH5 or GH4s. And again, what about the GH5? We got the GH5 and the GH5S. Also fantastic options, depends on your budget, but certainly a GH5 as your main gun would be fantastic um, and using your G7 as your backup. It just depends on your budget. If your budget can afford it, then jump all the way to the GH5. If you want to stay in the same system, these are all great options. If you're not all that concerned with staying in the same system, that opens up a lot more cost because you're into straddling two systems and two sets of lenses. But the Sony a7 III is a fantastic, probably one of the best values out there right now. You get into full frame, amazing video camera, amazing Sony. Sony's equivalent to Canon's dual pixel autofocus, so the ability to smoothly and accurately follow you during video or live view. Um, fantastic camera. Uh, you got to spend more on the lenses to get into decent lenses. That's my caveat with Sony. But the a7 III, hands down, is a beautiful camera. One of the best on the market right now. Great value, full frame. Love it. So that would probably be the other option I would maybe point you towards as far as at the moment what's available. If I wasn't, if, if I was staying in the Panasonic system, which is a good idea because you're staying with similar bodies and you don't have to learn different menu systems and how a different camera operates, then I would look at uh, G85 for a more budget-oriented upscale. If the budget's not as much of a concern, um, the GH5 is fantastic. And, and somewhere in between there, or maybe even about the price of a G85, is if you get a used GH4, which gives you more of that pro body. Uh, so that's what I would do in your situation. Let me throw it back to our readers. What do you guys think? Our viewers, I should say, not our readers. Um, what would you do in this situation? What would you What would you buy? What camera and why? Let's help out Mangesh. Let me know in the comments below. What would you do? What camera and why in his situation here? And uh, curious to hear what your thoughts are. Do they mirror mine? Would you look at one of the Panasonics? Do you think he should go over to Sony? Do you think he should switch entirely? I guess that's an option too. Um, let us know. Looking forward to seeing your feedback in the comments. Thanks for your question, Mangesh. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.